another one i've been adding intuitive surgical like i want to build that position so like that's a defense what do those guys do robotic surgery so oh. if you guys aren't aware of what they do their da vinci product is absolutely the goat i'm looking up some my notes over the week because i did a big deep dive on intuitive surgical over the weekend so you guys are like fully aware that i am a thematic investor so i am hyper bullish on robotics as well my themes i think that's going to be the kind of the biggest one of the biggest tams in mankind's history because truly the world is their tam and the angles i like to t have exposure in robotics is tesla through real world ai or workforce robotics you have amazon which is quietly leading the logistics robotics and you have intuitive surgical who is cementing themselves as like the, the dominant force in robotic assisted surgery so a lot of people think that they just sell the hardware but they actually have a full ecosystem like they lock all their hospitals into their full ecosystem they have around 8500 da vinci systems in the hospitals worldwide um they're not not just selling the robots like i mentioned like they sell the whole ecosystem hence the theme that i love investing in stocks with an ecosystem around the hardware because that's one of the biggest defensible modes out there axon has that Intuitive Surgical has that. Amazon has a massive flywheel. These kind of ecosystem creates defensible moats and it's one of the stickiest competitive advantages that you can have in a long-term winner. And I think a lot of times, I think it's really important to know for Intuitive Surgical specifically, where 80% of the revenue comes from recurring sources. So like you kind of need, you buy the robots, but you constantly have to buy the surgical instruments for those robots. You have to buy their service contracts associated with it. And there's also all these accessories that the hospitals need to continue buying to maintain these millions of dollars they spend on the robots. They have to do it or that's going to be dead ca capex costs. They're, not, they're just going to have to continue to maintain this robot, uh, the robots. And that's high margin cash for intuitive surgical. And I think the biggest difficulty for them was just getting into the hospital space. And they did that already with that 8,500 DaVinci systems in hospitals already. They continue to update the latest and greatest robots every couple of years so i think they're just as society gets older and older i do think that mini, like these robotics assistant surgeries are going to be kind of the future that we're trending trending in because there's not enough surgeons out there guys like there just isn't and i think as a hospital system like the business economics isn't as great as rosy as a lot of people think so like the best way to cut costs like 15 30 year timelines is these robotic surgeries because surgeons are stupid expensive you have to increase their pay year after year their benefits year after year and like it's just a crazy crazy world we're about to enter but like this isn't i love this robotics angle and i to be honest tesla and amazon like that's just that's one component within their own ecosystem that's robotics i wanted something that's more pure that's intuitive surgical